In today's video, I'm going to do a tutorial on virtual CAN in Linux. So if you've seen some of my previous videos, you might have noticed that I use real CAN hardware when I'm connecting to my Linux virtual machine. And when I'm using the CAN utils commands, I'm sending the data onto a physical CAN bus. However, maybe you don't have a physical CAN bus, or maybe you just want to iterate quickly on your laptop. So there's a tool for this that's called Virtual CAN, which allows you to simulate a CAN bus and use all the same CAN utils commands as you would on a physical bus. So stay tuned, because in this video, I'm going to show you how to use this tool. So to get started, um, you can list out your interfaces. And if you're starting from scratch, you'll see that you don't have any CAN interfaces set up. So what you're going to need to do to begin with is uh, mod probe the vcan kernel module. So the way you do that is you'll type in sudo mod probe vcan. So this loads the kernel module responsible for the virtual CAN networking. Now what you can do is you can add a vcan interface. And the way you do that is you type in sudo ip link add dev vcan0 type vcan. So once you do that, you should now be able to see the interface when you do uh, IP link LS. And it's going to be initially down at first. So what we're going to need to do is set it up. So you're going to want to type uh, sudo IP link set up vcan0. And once you do that, you should be able to see that the link is, uh, in this case, it's unknown, but that just means it's not down. So it is still usable. So uh, what we can do now is we can start uh, transmitting onto the virtual CAN network and we can also start listening on the virtual CAN network. So let's get two terminals uh, set up here because we're going to want to have one that's transmitting data and one that is uh, listening for data. So uh, let's get the one on the right here set up. So what we can do is we can type can dump vcan0. So it is now going to be listening on this virtual CAN network. And on the other one, what we can do is we can transmit some data. So let's do CAN gen vcan0. And this is just going to produce a bunch of random data. So you can see that it is printing out random data to our terminal, uh, which is demonstrating that we have a, uh, a, a quote unquote working uh, CAN network. So that's pretty cool. Um, now what you can do at this point is any of the commands that you would normally be able to do. So we just demonstrated uh, one of them, which is random, randomly generating CAN messages. Uh, but you know, maybe you want to be a little more specific. Maybe you want to can send a specific message. So here's an example. If I do this, you can send a specific message uh, with arbitration ID 123 and eight bytes of random data. You know, I can change this data however I want. Just some examples. Let's change this to a uh, zero, 00. So it's, uh, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty functional and uh, it allows you to iterate quickly without needing all this CAN hardware. So uh, a few more commands uh, just, just to show you what you can do with uh, CAN utils is. Um, in addition to sending and reading, we can create various can logs. So let's let's do that here where we will can dump and then we'll tell it to create a log file. So if we can gen one more time, um, you'll see that nothing is printing here because it's actually going into a log file instead. So I'll stop uh, transmitting. And let's uh, see what we have created. So we have a can dump log here. So I'll just print that out. So can dump. And this is everything that was uh, transmitted from this terminal and then logged into this one, oh. uh, which is pretty cool. So here's another really cool command. Now that we have this log file, let's say we wanted to actually transmit everything that was in here already whether we transmit it onto a real CAN network or onto a physical CAN network, that's up to us. But since we're doing everything virtually here, I'll just replay all this data. So let's cat this CAN dump file. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pipe it to something called CAN player. So I'll, I'll get this terminal ready one more time. Uh, CAN dump 
like such. I won't log it this time just so we can see what's going on and check it out. We're now replaying this can log file. And uh, just to kind of prove that it's working, let's, let's do it one more time. So you can see that we started up here with 110E and here we are again, 110E. So we have a wide uh, diversity of tools at our disposal with can utils, and we can use all of them virtually, which is really, really neat. So that wraps it up for today's video. It's a short and sweet one, so I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something about virtual CAN networking in Linux. If you liked the video, please remember to drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.